Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly insert and manage anchor links when you're going to the when you're using the site builder in HubSpot from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your HubSpot, HubSpot account and that you have the dashboard opened like this. And the idea is you would want to navigate to the top left corner of your screen. And here you'll meet a you'll be met with a bunch of different options to configure your site or your um, CRM page, and that's being uh, contacts, converse, uh, conversations, marketing, sales, commerce, service, and so on. So from here, you guys would want to click on marketing. So you want to click on this drop down, and then from here you want to select landing pages. Now when you click on landing pages. Um, HubSpot will actually pull up a list of all of the um, pages that you have tied to your account. So in this case, I have um, my about page right here. And the idea is we'd want to edit this using the site builder by HubStaff. Well, HubSpot, not HubStaff, sorry. So I'm going to click on it. And it should take us to this page right here. And the idea is when we go to add an anchor link uh, to one of the uh, text bodies or elements on our page. Uh, the uh, what we need to do is click on the plus icon right here, and then you will navigate to the uh, text subcategory. And here you'll see heading, one line, uh, one line of text, page footer, rich text, and section heading. So you want to make sure that you select rich text here. Now I'm going to drag this along um, this part of the page. Let's actually put it here. Actually, um, let's do it here. At the top so we're going to add this container to our page now when we go to um, select the text right here you do control a or basically select the text that you want to add a, an anchor link to and then you want to click on this little icon right here that says insert link so when we click on it this little drop down should show and we should have the option to link this to a couple of different um, page uh, places or properties on our page. So from here you want you'd want to select anchor on this page and then you want to choose an anchor from your uh, any anchor registered to your account. Click OK, insert and you guys should be done. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.